Capsule wardrobes make it extremely easy to get dressed every day, but millions of women struggle with curating a capsule wardrobe that actually makes sense for them. So today I wanna to give you three different factors that I want you to consider before actually curating a capsule wardrobe. You really wanna make sure that you're intentional about the pieces you're adding in. And these three factors are really gonna help you make sense of everything. So stay tuned. boss ladies it's your favorite personal stylist Kristen and I want to welcome you back to my channel so today we're going to be talking all about capsule wardrobes so you've seen my reels you've seen my reviews on the different pieces in my capsule wardrobes but I really want to give you the three key factors that you need so that you can curate your own capsule wardrobe at home home it's super easy and it honestly will save you so much time so much money and so much stress when getting dressed every day so for those of you who are new here my name is Kristen Johnson and I'm the CEO and founder of SCB Luxury Styling where I help faith-driven leaders really command their God-given authority with faith and style so I know I know things have changed here and I'm super excited for the direction that we are moving into so today, I wanna to give you the three factors that you need to know, the three key essentials that you need in order to curate a capsule wardrobe that works best for you. Some of these things may be considered simple and easy and obvious to some, but to others, this may be new information that you probably never even thought of. So let's start with the key factor number one. Your lifestyle. So what are you doing every single day? This is something that you really want to think about before curating a capsule wardrobe. Everybody's lives are different. Everybody's day to day is different. As the personal stylists I offer virtual styling services and in-person styling services. So when I'm doing virtual styling, my day to day looks a lot different from what it does when I'm doing in-person styling. Virtual styling, I'm typically just sitting in a chair behind a computer. I may be taking a few Zoom calls, a few phone calls, and that's pretty much it. But when I'm in person, I'm actually driving to different homes. I'm actually driving to different locations. I'm meeting people in person. I'm moving around, standing up, sitting down. A lot of things just are extremely different compared to working from home. So those are the things that you really wanna think about when you are curating a capsule wardrobe, but also not just your day to day. Think ahead, think about the events you have coming up, think about the organizations you're a part of, think about vacations that are coming up. You really wanna make sure you think ahead and really consider all of those things that are coming up. Maybe you're going to a few meetings, maybe you're going to a conference in a couple of months and you really wanna make sure you have the perfect outfit. Maybe you're gonna be sitting on a panel or speaking in front of an audience of people. You really wanna make sure you have the perfect outfit that really represents who you are and that really is flattering to your figure. So your lifestyle is honestly one of the main key factors that you wanna consider before curating a capsule wardrobe. Your personality. So of course you want your wardrobe to reflect who you are as a person. I honestly feel like a lot of women watch TV, they look at who they're following on social media, and they try to copy and follow all of the trends. I hate trends. <laughs> as a personal stylist, I'm not afraid to say it. I hate trends. Some of them are great, you know, and I, I like organically will pick some of them up. But nine times out of 10, a trend won't last. That's why it's a trend. So if you're so focused on adding a ton of different trends into your wardrobe, you're gonna have a wardrobe that honestly will go out of style in seconds. So you really wanna make sure that you pay attention to you. Don't worry about what everybody else is wearing. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Really pay attention to who you are. What do you like? What do you hate? What's your favorite color? 
I know a lot of women also mention that their favorite colors are bright, maybe green, maybe yellow. And due to their complexion, they feel as though they can't wear those colors. And you can. I'm here to tell you that you can. You don't necessarily have to wear a bright yellow jacket or a bright yellow top, but maybe you can wear a fun yellow earring or even a super cute yellow shoe. Definitely switch it up and see how you can add in some of your favorite things into your wardrobe. Green is my favorite color, if you have not noticed. So I do my best to incorporate green into every outfit that I wear, if not, you know, into my wardrobe as much as possible. Green is a color that makes me extremely happy. It makes me feel confident. It makes me feel excited. It brings me joy. And it also reflects a lot of positive things like money, growth, and just all around creativity. So the colors that you wear are important as well because they all mean different things. So your personality doesn't just represent colors, but also patterns too. Don't be afraid to add in different patterns like polka dots or stripes or florals. They do not have to be extremely loud. They can be very muted and laid back, but still those little details really make a difference. Your personality and who you are should shine through what you wear. I mean, when you get dressed every day, you don't wanna feel like your, your clothes don't represent who you are. As soon as you get dressed and step out of your door, you are representing yourself and your brand and your business. So you always wanna make sure that your outfit really exudes your confidence, exudes your personality, and really just aligns with who you are as a person. So moving on to the last essential key factor. Before curating your capsule wardrobe, honestly, I should have said this one first. Your body shape. Your body shape and your measurements are ideal when really curating a capsule wardrobe that makes sense for you. You cannot curate a capsule wardrobe if you aren't familiar with your body, your proportions, your sizes. You need to know your sizes in order to shop and find the right pieces, right? So take your measurements. I always suggest that my clients take their measurements every single quarter. Some of my clients, their bodies fluctuate. Their bodies fluctuate per quarter. Their bodies fluctuate per season. Some of my clients, their bodies stay pretty consistent but it's super important for you to always know your size. At times, we don't even realize our size has changed because we look at ourselves every day. So of course, every day we look the exact same, but you can go a season of not wearing a pair of pants and then come back in the fall and wear them or try to wear them and they're too small. So you always wanna make sure that you are taking your measurements every quarter and those measurements are your chest area your high waist and your hips these three measurements of course you can always take more but these three measurements are the foundation to help you really figure out what your body shape is if you're not familiar with the body shape bible that is our signature ebook that helps you to really take your measurements it shows you how to take your measurements it shows you how to use those measurement numbers and ratios to determine what your body shape is and i have a list of five different body shapes that are super unique and super positive and body enticing that will help you to just feel a lot more confident and better about your body image in that ebook there are a list of items that are best flattering for each body shape so it gives you kind of like a cheat sheet on what you should be shopping for and what you should be gravitating towards in order to build the capsule wardrobe that you love. So your body shape is super important for you to know. So again, make sure you take your measurements, make sure you're trying things on, make sure you understand how your body is proportioned and you can be more than one body shape. A lot of my clients tend to fluctuate between one to two body shapes. That's normal, that's okay. But as long as you know what those two or that one body shape is, you're good to go. All right, so those are the three key factors that you wanna consider before curating a capsule wardrobe. So number one, we have your lifestyle. Number two, your personality. 
And number three, your body shape. All of these things really help to build a strong foundation when building a capsule wardrobe. And I do wanna give you a side note. It's not gonna happen overnight. You're not gonna be able to build your the capsule wardrobe of your dreams in two days. It takes time. It takes time for you to really figure out what you need, what pieces you know belong in your wardrobe, what pieces you need to remove from your wardrobe. I honestly would suggest starting with a cleaning. A wardrobe cleanse is the best thing to do before you decide to add or do anything to your wardrobe. And within that wardrobe cleanse, of course you wanna try things on. You really wanna make sure that pieces you're getting rid of no longer suit your lifestyle, no longer suit your body shape. And then the pieces you're keeping, of course you wanna make sure they do the complete opposite. They look good on you, they make you feel good, and they make sense for your lifestyle. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And I hope that before you decide to curate a capsule wardrobe, that you really consider these three key essentials. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.